Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be beginning my Road to Sun and Moon 30 list challenge where I'm going to be doing 30 top 10s and top 5 lists in a row once a day for the next 30 days. Now there's not going to be 30 top 5 lists and 30 top 10 lists. It's going to be one of the two. For example, today is going to be a top 5 list of my top 5 favorite Gen 1 Pokemon or Kanto Pokemon. So, before we get to the list, uh, there will be one video a day, and I will be answering a question based on today's topic. So, for instance, today's topic will be Gen 1 Pokemon, and the question is going to be, what are your fa five favorite Gen 1 Pokemon? Uh, if you have to look them up, then do so to get the names. Um, comment below what your list is. But anyway, let's get started with number five, and for me, that is Jolteon, the electric type Pokemon. Jolteon has always been one of my favorite Pokemon from day one. I always use one whenever I do a Gen 1 game, and he's always one of my favorites. Give him a Thunderbolt and Shadow Ball, and he's a force to be reckoned with. Though, he does have pretty crappy defenses, so one solid physical or special hit could easily knock him out, but that's fine. He's a glass cannon, or she, or it. It's a glass cannon, and that's why I love it. It's one of those Pokemon that gets in, gets the job done, and when it faints, you're not going to be mad because you know it's going to take down at least one Pokemon. <laughs> so that's why it's number five for me. So let's move on to number four. Before we continue, I want to actually correct myself. When I said earlier that I want to answer questions, I meant to say that you will be answering the daily question. I don't know how I got that mixed up. I just did. Um... I already like finished editing that section of the video. I like editing the my videos in sections like that. So I usually catch the error after I'm done. And uh, I take this time to correct myself. I know it's kind of stupid. I, it's rare for me to mess up though. But that one I just didn't catch. Moving on though, at number four is Snorlax. Snorlax has always been one of my favorite Pokemon since day one. Uh, I loved when Ash caught one and I also love in battle with its ability. Thick Fat, which basically makes it take reduced damage from fire and ice type moves, which is a fantastic ability. A lot of good Pokemon have that ability, including Mega Venusaur, which is one of my favorite Megas, despite how a lot of people hated it for some reason. But, um, I'm not talking about Megas this video, that's a whole different video. Um, Snorlax has just always been a good Pokemon. Powerful, and could take a lot of hits. Uh, simple as that. Uh, if you disagree with me, then, well, like I said, this is my opinion. Anyway, let's move on to number three. Coming in at number three is my favorite water type starter of all time. Well, besides Mudkip, and that is Blastoise. I have always loved this Pokemon. He is the coolest Pokemon, or she. Sorry, I always say he because I always get male starters. <laughs> um, it is one of my favorite starter Pokemon ever. I mean, it's a goddamn turtle with cannons on its back. What's well, cooler than that? I've always been a fan of tortoises and turtles in general, and I've always wanted one really, but I've never had one. Um, Plus, I'm a huge fan of water starters. Well, except for Faroki and uh, Poplio. I've never really been a fan of those two, and probably never will be. Though, I do like Greninja, I'd admit. <laughs> um, I just, I prefer Blastoise over Charizard and Venusaur any day of the week. Charizard's under, not underrated, overrated, and Venusaur is just eh, not as cool as compared to uh, Blastoise here. I'll take my Cannon Turtle over that plant dinosaur or that fire dragon, that non-fire dragon, any day of the week. <laughs> um, so with that, that is my third option. Well, actually, before we move on, I just want to say, this Pokemon's defenses are so fucking good. Like, it could take some solid hits, and it's only weak by two types, which is electric and grass. And in Gen 1, there weren't really many electric Pokemon, but there were a ton of grass Pokemon, so you had to be pretty careful. But... This thing could at least take one super effective hit, which is really nice compared to a lot of other Pokemon that are more glass cannon like. <laughs> um, so that's all I wanted to get away, get out away with, um, get get out of the way with. Okay, I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm starting now. Let's move on to number two before I do that anymore. Next up at number two is Arcanine. Arcanine is without a doubt one of my favorite Pokemon ever and reminds me quite a bit of my dog that I currently own. Um, he's just a fantastic looking Pokemon, really powerful, really useful, and I wish he got a Mega Evolution, but sadly, no dice. <laughs> uh, 
but I just love his design and just in general he's a fantastic Pokemon plus he's one of the few fire Pokemon that requires a firestone debug in fact, outside of Gen 1, only one other fire type Pokemon requires a Firestone Devolve. Can you guess what that Pokemon is without looking it up? Well, I'll leave that for you to uh, guess below. <laughs> uh, should be a question. <laughs> um, he has pretty balanced stats, which are really nice. I like how he's just a pure fire type, so he doesn't have too many weaknesses. And just in general, he looks so fucking badass. Plus, you could get one with extreme speed, which is a fantastic move for him to know. Or her. Sorry, I don't know why I keep saying him. <laughs> um, definitely one of my favorite fire type Pokemon for that reason. But why is he only number two? Well, he doesn't come close to what number one is. And you probably could tell easily what number one's going to be. Just know that this list is non-legendary, so that might narrow down your, uh, your guess. <laughs> anyway, let's move on um, to number one. Oh, and fun fact about Arcanine, he was originally going to be one of the legendary Pokemon, three legendary Pokemon, but they wanted to add in a third bird so it could be the legendary bird trio, so he was uh, removed from the one of the legendaries as one of the legendaries, giving him uh, pre-evolution, and I guess they just didn't really change his classification to anything else. It's still the legendary Pokemon, which is pretty interesting. Um, just a little fun fact I found out, and uh, if you go to the second episode of Pokemon, you can see there's like a big tile, stone tile behind Professor Oak that shows the legendary birds, except for Moltres and Arcanine, which is pretty interesting. So I think at that point, Arcanine was planned to be legendary, but things changed. Uh, thought you guys should know that a cool fact. Anyway, let's move on. Last up is Gengar, or Gengar. I guess I said the same name twice. Anyway, this Pokemon is awesome. Very powerful, fantastic, and just in general, one of the greatest Pokemon of its type ever. The only problem is, I don't really use Gengar often, mainly because when I usually want to use him, it's during one of the games where it's hard for me to trade Pokemon with friends, since none of them have the required system or game for me to trade them with. Specifically, I really wanted to use one in like my red playthrough, but I didn't really have anyone who was playing with me, so I didn't have a chance to trade him over for one. And then I don't really have a copy of Blue, so I can't be like that one person who has two systems to trade with himself, you know? Um, so to one of my friends out there, if you guys have the uh, virtual console version of red or blue let me know because i really want to get a gengar on my team and uh i don't really have another copy virtual copy of it so anyway this pokemon is fantastic sure it's physical defense and physical attack isn't really good or it's hp but it's special stats and speed is where it's at so it could get knocked out pretty easily by a simple physical attack that can especially if it's super effective but no, this thing, it's basically Jolteon in my, it's like Jolteon in my opinion. It It's really quick and can do some serious damage, and it's better than Jolteon actually, because he has way more special defense, so he can take a special hit pretty easily. But a physical hit, not so much, like I said multiple times. I just love his design, he looks freaking badass. He's purple, which is like my favorite color ever. Uh, and he's just a creepy, creepy Pokemon in general. Or she. I'm sorry, I know it's a habit, I need to break it. <laughs> um... And I will always love this Pokemon. Give this thing Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball, freaking Dazzling Gleam, and whatever other move you want to give it, and it will kick some ass. For those who don't know what Dazzling Gleam is, it's a move introduced in Gen 6. But Thunderbolt and Shadow Ball are in Gen 1. But probably not as good in that, because in Gen 1, all the Ghost-type moves were physical moves for some stupid reason. Anyway guys, I gotta end this off now. I have a time limit with these videos and I'm almost up with this one, so you know my number one, it's Gengar. Fantastic Pokemon. Comment below what are your five favorite Gen 1 Pokemon, top 10 if you want even. And let me know if you liked my list. Just so you know, it's my opinion. So if you hate my opinions of what I said to your some, if I said anything bad about your favorite Pokemon, I'm sorry, it's my opinion. Um, we can't all have the same opinion, guys. I mean, come on. It's... That's not how the world works. Anyway, thanks for watching this, guys. Give me suggestions for future videos, and I gotta go. So, peace out.